if you have chanced on this video then this is a sign for you to make your own homemade tomato paste i am hirat here and you are welcome to my channel stay with me as i take you through the process okay and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel in a big bowl i have some tomatoes here and you can see they are actually fresh here so i will add some water to it because i am going to wash the tomatoes so i will add enough water then add salt because i want to get rid of bugs and pesticides for the tomatoes to be more healthy i will then allow it to soak for at least 10 minutes for the salt to dissolve so after that i will give them a proper wash i will wash everything and then set them aside using a knife i will cut the tomatoes into two and remove all the seeds from the tomatoes and then set the tomatoes aside i will continue with this process till i'm done with all the tomatoes in the bowl tomato paste you make at home comes with way more flavor and caramelized than the ones you buy outside so kindly do yourself some favor and do some yourself at home okay and even save some cost and with homemade tomato paste it has zero additives no preservative okay so just try this and you'll thank me later so after removing the seeds this is what i have everything is smooth now and as for the seeds i will plant them later and i might upload a video if i get the chance so i will transfer the tomatoes into a saucepan and here i will not be adding any water to it i will allow the tomatoes to produce its own water so next i will add some beetroot to it and for this beetroot it is totally optional i just added it because i want the beetroot to elevate the color and the flavor and if you add it you will be glad you did okay but if you are not too comfortable you can skip this part i will cover it and allow it to cook till it is soft and has released enough juice so this is it you can see it is very soft and the skin is detaching already so at this point i will remove all the tomatoes from the juice and then transfer it into a blender and then blend it to a fine puree just like this so after that i will transfer it into the saucepan once again cover allow it to cook on high heat till all the water evaporates but make sure to be stirring it from time to time because we don't want it to stick to the pan so you can use a non-stick pan or cast iron pots okay if you don't want your tomato paste to be too thick then this consistency is just perfect for you so you can just off the heat now and if you want it to be really thick then you need to wait making homemade tomato paste really takes time so you need patience and love in making this okay so you can just start it in the morning leave it on the heat and go and do your errands now the tomatoes has reduced to a paste consistency and this consistency is just perfect for me and if you want it to be too thick once again you can continue with the cooking process and after 10 minutes just see the tomato paste i will choose this one over and over than the ones outside so just try and make your homemade tomato paste from today going okay 
enough of the preservatives at the market so we want to store this tomato paste for long so i will be adding some oil into my jar before adding the tomato paste into the jar so by doing this i can refrigerate it for at least one year so after filling the jar with the tomato paste i'll top up with some oil again before covering it with the lid and the tomato paste tastes so sweet ready to enhance any recipe that calls for it so you can also put it in a ziploc bag and then refrigerate you can also store it in small batches using ice block tray or using a nylon to store it in the batches you will use later thank you so much for watching this video to this point see you in the next video bye and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos okay and turn on your notification bell